Well, you know, obviously there's things that I don't feel led to share on a camera and have go out because most people just wouldn't understand at least my willingness to be open about it. But I've suffered things um, that make me almost cry thinking about it. I just can't believe you froze up. I grew up on Houston, Texas, and I'm born, raised and born in Houston, Texas. You know, I'm born from a rapist. I don't know what should I say that. Whether you are black or white or rich or poor, born or pre-born, all of us matter, all have value. Why are we seeing such an explosion, literally, of occultism in the last 50, 60 years? Because we're hastening to the time of the return of Jesus Christ. We have been so dumbed down in our, in our, in our theology. We don't recognize evil when we see it anymore. And I'm about to turn off a light, and I look down, I can see a black figure crawling on the ceiling. You know, I have a black demon that's ripping out my heart, that's shoving a uh, poke down into another demon's uh, mouth on my thigh. I have Medusa from the gates of hell on my back. I have a bath of that on my throat. I gotta go all the way back around, so stay on the line, okay? I should have died. I don't know how I was still alive. Oh, this guy just had a gun, just ready to just, just shot at us. My name is Jessa, and I'm a survivor of human trafficking. Every year, 1.2 million voices are silenced through child trafficking. It was taking place in suburban neighborhoods. I was also taken into um, a few other countries um, for the sole purpose of being trafficked and being sold. Every year, $150 billion is spent muffling the song of youth in over a million young hearts. So when I was a little girl, my family was part of a group of people that severely sexually abused me. Let the children come unto me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. When I was 21, a lady approached me and she gave me a piece of paper. And if I ever wanted help, she would be there. The message she constantly told me was that this is not who you are, and you are so much more than this. For the price of a meal, join the chorus of other voices speaking up for those who cannot. This is not okay. And then it was the courage for me to say, this stops, and this stops now. One half of all the profits will be donated to Through the Black to help combat child trafficking. I'm not the same person. I have completely changed, and I'm liking the person that I'm changing into. It's pretty cool. And we can all say, I am a voice. A voice of innocent children everywhere. Hey guys, it's Rylan with Simple Street. I just wanted to hop on here and testify about the goodness of God real quick. Me and Mac were sitting here and we witnessed a guy walk up the street and we're out here doing videos. And he walks up and I say, hey man, can I just pray for that? I thought it was his knee, but he said, no, it's my back. And we started praying for him. And we began to get words of knowledge about his L2 disc. And, and, and I, we felt a shift in his back and we felt the Lord just move upon his back and to begin to heal that man. And then he spoke about his nerves. So we just started commanding nerves to be made whole in the name of Jesus. And uh, we watched this guy walk away from here with his cane in his hand, not even using it, and actually testing, testing his mobility out as he's walking away. That's what it's all about right here. 
That's what we do. We love to just love people and to pray with people and watch the Lord heal people's sicknesses and diseases. It's just amazing. I just wanted to testify about that.